Okay, if you're having problems with your uh, throttle sticking, um, this is how I'm trying to do this with one hand in the camera here. Let me try and hold this here. This is how your throttle should see a nice snap back like that. See that? That's how it should work. Now, if your throttle is not working like that, it's because you didn't install your carburetor, your uh, cable properly. See inside there how that little cylinder is in there? This little plastic piece right here. I'm going to show you what went wrong. Take this off. Quick, some of you might have already known how to do this part. All right, now take this out, and you see here this line here. And see how you got your cable, that little dot in there. You got to keep that lined up with this line right here. Now inside here where it goes in. You see that little copper nub sticking out right here? Not the throttles, not the throttle screw here. Not the adjustment of the throttle screw. This little thing sticking out. That's got to line up with this line right here so it goes all the way in. And this piece right here has to go in that hole. Don't force it because you know, you'll mess something up. So, lining it up, you're probably not going to be able to see because it's kind of hard to do and hold the camera, but get it in there just like that. See inside how it's going in like that? That's how it should be. But if you go like this and you're trying to force the spring and it's real hard to put in, you got it wrong. But just like that. And you see you got it in like that. That's your proper way. Now you just screw this down. Careful not to cross thread it. Like it's trying to do right now. Get it nice and straight. This can be a booger sometimes. Yeah, you get the general idea. There we go. Okay, it should go on nice and easy. Like that. Okay. Now once you got that in. throttle and you turn it like I said this is hard to do holding the camera see how that goes up and down when you turn the throttle that's how it's supposed to work and your throttle also see snaps back like that. So if your throttle's stuck, it's all in there. That's what it should look like. And don't forget right here to tighten this down all the way. I use a little uh, pipe wrench and just give it a little snug. You don't want to crank it down too hard. And that's how you get your throttle working properly and your carb working properly. Took me a long time to figure it out, so I wanted to make a video and share it with everybody. Good luck.